It's Fat Appalooza on the Roseanne Show. I'm so excited about today's show. Roseanne gets the skinny on large size fashions from big girl models Mia Tyler and Kate Dillon. I sent two of my daughters to fat camp. Yeah. And they, that's where <laughs> they learned to smoke and drink. Yeah. And see that Roseanne's not afraid to shake her stuff. Yeah. Shut up, you pervert. All this and more on the next Roseanne Show. We are here today to tell America and the world that size is not a measure of our character. <laughs> Fat is not a four-letter word, and we will not apologize for our size. Today, it's Fatapalooza! about today's show because we're going to talk about what it's like to be a fat woman in America you know like when I was a kid there were no fat dolls I mean there were some of those big fat baby dolls but you know they you didn't dress them <laughs> there was just like skinny little Barbie you know but now that's about to change because now that all these young American women have died of eating disorders <laughs> they're coming out with the new Barbie better late than never though I mean they made her breast smaller and her waist and her um, hips larger so you know you'll probably still have to go out and buy her clothes at a specialty store but <laughs> I hate going to specialty stores for those of you who've never been to a specialty store um, you know for large women okay we do not have white black or yellow blouses there it's vanilla mocha or banana <laughs> Uh, by the time I was 10 years old, I'd already heard big women called every large animal known to man. Like cow, pig, heifer, moose, whale. I mean, it's no wonder they send us to fat farms. <laughs> uh, have you ever thought of America as a place that's segregated by weight? You know, petites in the front of the bus and chubbies in the back. And television just totally perpetuates the negative image. Like whenever I see those CK, those Calvin Klein commercials, I want to pick up the phone and call the 1-800 number to feed those starving children. <laughs> it's true. Have you ever seen a large woman on the cover of one of those top fashion magazines? Uh, and I bet if one of us ever did get on the cover, it would probably say, don't let this happen to you. <laughs> And getting on an airplane is like the worst. When the flight attendant asks you in front of everybody else if you need a seatbelt extension. <laughs> you know that one. I, I've always felt that seatbelt should be long enough to hang the flight attendant. <laughs> um, you guys are... stroked and women shamed because men they call men hearty eaters and they call the women he, he's a hearty eater but his wife the big fat pig <laughs> I mean men fat guys check this out fat guys get football contracts and jobs on the Chicago police force you know <laughs> while fat women all we get is diet books and eating disorders so don't tell me that size doesn't matter because it does so stick around because we have a whole show full of excellent fat people. Yeah. And we're going to find out, we're also going to find out 
why is dieting so stupid? And we're going to look at some great fashions, and we're going to meet two of the hottest looking big girls you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> Mia Tyler and Kate Gillian. So stay tuned. I went to sitting next to some woman at a restaurant who was very, very, I mean, you, you could just, she was giving us a hard time, not verbally, but looking at us and laughing at it. As I walked out of the restaurant, I turned and looked at her and I said, I am so glad that my ass makes you feel superior. V takes count and go bug, take it along. It has numbers and shapes and plays songs. Two. Two. It moves its eyes as it wiggles. Let's play. And the best sound it makes is all the giggles. VTech designed to develop minds. VTech's Power Mouse Deluxe is the perfect introduction to computers. It has a fully functioning mouse and builds your child's skills. Will it help them reach their potential? Excellent. We think it speaks for itself. VTech's Power Mouse Deluxe designed to develop mind. You're going to love the big holiday sale going on now at High Lake Myers. High Lake Myers Holiday Value Sale. The entire store is on sale. Everything. Furniture, accessories, appliances, electronics, even toys and jewelry. High Lake Myers Holiday Value Sale. Since cash is always tied around this time, we'll work with you to find the best credit option. Great savings and great credit options at High Lake Myers. This season's going to be very merry. I Hello. Welcome aboard flight 257 to Newark. With stops in the Bahamas, Jamaica, and fabulous Rio. Want more than you expect? <laughs> Sign up for a Media One Next TV premium movie package and get all of our other movie channels free for 30 days. All the best channels, the biggest stars, the hottest movies. Did you bring an extra bikini? Call 877-GO-NEXT-TV. Hi everyone, I'm Colleen Williams, inviting you to join the Marine Corps Reserve and us in the NBC4 Toys for Tots campaign. Plus, Sixie and Snoopy will make it extra special. When you drop off a new unwrapped toy worth $10 or more to any participating Union 76 station, you'll receive a coupon to get into Knott's Berry Farm at half price. Share the gift of giving and make a big difference in the life of a child. We'll see you at Knott's Berry Farm. Be part of the NBC4 Toys for Tots campaign at Knott's Berry Farm. Um, the reason most big women hate to shop is not because we hate our bodies, it's because we hate the hideous clothes that they sell in our size. <laughs> so here to show us some really cool new plus size clothes is Katherine Lippincott. Right. <laughs> Our favorite store, Lane Bryant. Yay! We love it. We Lane love Bryant. it. The only good one. The only good one. Right. It's the only good one. I know. No, we're excited because we're really sort of changing the face of the way that women dress today because we know the women are larger and that's cool with us. I mean, that's our business. And we're making the clothes to make them feel confident, comfortable, sexy, and, you know, just feel young and not yeah. feel like some sort of outsider. Yeah, Anymore. Like, uh, most of them look like, most of, not Lane Bryant clothes, but large size clothes, it always looks like your grandma at a bar mitzvah. I know, you know. <laughs> it's horrible. And yeah. here are these young women, we re actually recently did a survey and found that young women aged 17 to 25 are the fastest growing segment of the plus size market. Wow. And when we asked them what kind of clothes they wanted, they wanted form fitting, sexy, hip clothes, just like their size six friends. So right. that's what they're getting. Why do you think that the fashion industry has ignored, um, well, all large people, but the young, the young large people? Well, I think it's because young people are usually more open to fashion trends. And I think the designers have thought for so long, oh, we can't give them those very special, sexy, short, midriff things because they won't wear it, they won't look good in it. Mm. But that's kind of why we're here today with some models to show that, hey, you can. You can wear stripes horizontally if oh, you want that to. Was the, that was, the, when, I was the, when I was a fat girl, you know, as opposed to being a fat woman. No, you can never oh. even dream of horizontal stripes and you can never wear red. 
Right, or white. No. Oh, no. you can never wear white. Taboo, yeah. right. taboo. I know. It's all changed now, yeah, and that's really great. good news because I think young women need to be able to dress like their friends because, like, when you're that age, yeah. you want to wear the same groovy thing that right. your best friend is wearing and not feel like you have to go to some weird store where you have to tear out the labels and be embarrassed about what you're wearing. Right. Shall we look at some of them? I think that's ready? Fun. Are you ready? Y'all ready? Woo! <laughs> Take it away, Peggy. Take it away, Gatter. All righty. We're actually going to start, we're starting with Mia. Now, I want you all to meet Mia Tyler. This is the daughter of Aerosmith's Steven Tyler and Liv Tyler's sister, who is, yeah, you are beautiful. <laughs> she's Go new to the plus size market and cool. she is one of our new models and she's actually a Lane Bryant V girl. What's v, a V girl? V stands for Venezia, which is a young, uh, line of clothes that we've oh. developed just for young customers. Oh, cool. So she's one of our hip, groovy V-girls. Who's wearing, now look, Roseanne, see, this is the cargo pant that all everybody's wearing, and it's with the drawstring. And very we cute. think that she looks very sexy in that, in her size. Very we love cute. it. Thanks, Mia. Thank you. Now, this is our other V-girl. This is Kate Dillon. Now, you may recognize Kate Dillon because for many years, Kate was a, what we call, skinny model. She was a size six model for many years, and now she's grown up to be a big girl model. <laughs> and very happy with it. Yay! Very happy with it. And I actually, yeah. this is another example. Lane Bryant believes that we all have skin. You know, we got skin all over our bodies, and the deal is, is you gotta figure out which skin you're gonna show to make you look best. Mm -hmm. Kate has great legs. So naturally, you put her in a, a short skirt, which looks really hot on her, mm -hmm. and then we're doing that whole military look with the, with the army drabs. But you might notice the camisole underneath, that's actually from our underwear collection. So we're mixing the feminine with the military, cute. giving a real cute young look. Really cute. This is Kate. Yay. Great. Woo. Woo. How about that, right? This is Gigi. And Gigi's doing sort of a back to school look, but modern style. Again, we got the great short skirt going. And the other thing is we've tied that shirt at her waist because women have waist. You know, we don't always have to wear things that cover our curves. And right. Gigi shows that you can just show all those curves right on off and they look very, very hot. <laughs> Thank you. And they're really cute. Aren't they look good? I know. They're adorable. This is Shannon Marie. And Shannon Marie is showing that dark denim jean thing. Mm -hmm. You know, this rolled up at the bottom. Roll and it's got to be a deep cuff. That's, this fall is all about the deep cuff and the dark denim. And you know, hey, if you're a size 16, why shouldn't you be able to wear the same dark denim jeans that your size 2 friend has? So we've layered her up, like for maybe a football game. I don't know if I have any size 2 friends. I just have to say <laughs> I don't have to say that. Yeah, that's, that's probably true. I'm not sure if I do either. Um, but Shannon Marie just looks really cute really and young, cute. ready for the date or the football game or whatever, hanging out with girlfriends, right? Cool. Thank you. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. And now we're going a very, very street, very urban looking. This is Dee Dee. And Dee Dee's showing um, the active wear from Lane Bryant. And again, here we're busting a myth. We're showing some skin. We think that skin is groovy. Dee Dee loves her tummy. We think her tummy looks good. So we are showing it. We love it. And this is all active wear for Lane Bryant by Venezia. And are those the kind that you go like that and they open? Yeah. I like those. Yeah. They're cool. Yeah, they are. You can, you know, do a whole routine Warm with up. right up the sides. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're cute. You look great. And finally, we're going to bring out Crystal. Now, this is Miss Crystal, who is going to show us how, you know how yeah, there's shoes. that thing about arms? We all yeah, get we very nervous thing, right. about the arm thing. Mm -hmm. And look, Crystal's just showing us all that it is so gorgeous. She's wearing a beautiful silver top. It's actually a sweater set. We've tied the, the top part around her waist. Another great thing is that gray is really big this season. Gray is it's gray. not as much about black and it's more about lighter tones. So we don't have to hide in black. Uh, do the gray thing. And that is a very great. sexy little shoe you mentioned. Today. Very awesome shoe. Very I'm awesome shoe. Those. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can arrange that. <laughs> Great. So that's what we brought you. Excellent. So should we bring them all out? Yeah. Let's bring them all out and look at them. <laughs> Yay, girls!
<laughs> Put me up too. Thank you, Catherine. Um, up next, Mia Tyler and Kate Dillon are gonna talk to us. So we'll be back after this commercial. Because I'll look good. He fought injustice and became a legend. Now he has chosen another to wear the mask. The legend has returned! The Mask of Zorro. Buy it now on video cassette and DVD. I'm a mom and a pharmacist. It's my job to know that the best therapeutic lotion available without a prescription is Curel. Curel moisturizes better than any leading therapeutic lotion. It just heals dry skin better. You can see the cure in Curel. My dad's just moved in with us. He's quite a character, very disciplined, very organized, and that's gonna be difficult with two very active little boys. I know his appearance is very important to him. He keeps those shirts of his spotless. I don't want them to end up dingy when they get thrown in the wash with the kid's dirty stuff. Liquid Tide's new clean rinse formula. It helps prevent dirt in the wash water from redepositing on clothes, so everything comes out whiter than with regular detergents. I think they're gonna learn a lot from each other. Hey, you think you know trivia? You know the yet. most award-winning CD-ROM game in history wow. is now a talking tabletop game. The game. What's Abraham Lincoln's song? Now read the question and open the door. You should uh, know this one. Player one, it's all yours. Aries. <gasps> you guys are huh? pathetic. <gasps> the categories from the life and times of a snack cake to 9021. Uh-oh. Okay. Imagine Henry VIII marries Carol Brady. That was impressive. Yes. You don't know yet. The irreverent <laughs> trivia party game. Thank you for banking with us. Hi, Jan. I'd like to make a deposit. Hi, Donna. A deposit? Yes. Did you win the lottery? No, but I got a great job. But you just started at Bryman College a few months ago. I know. At Bryman College, you can train to be a medical assistant in just nine months. For a brochure on medical careers, call 1-800-722-7337. 1-800-722-7337. Make an investment in your future. Call now. Hello, my name is Red. This is Zeke. Ho, ho, ho. And we're here to tell you about a very special holiday offer from Popeyes to help save the world from bland chicken. It's called Get a Free Apple Pie when you purchase 12 pieces or more of Popeyes chicken. If you don't do it for yourself, do it for the kids. This message brought to you by the Citizens Against Bland Chicken. Now at Popeyes, get a free apple pie when you purchase 12 pieces or more of Popeyes chicken and save your family from the ordinary. I, I have haven't gotten family. jobs have and friends. dates and promotions, and like even though I'm terribly skilled, there's people who, cause. they won't move me above because I, I don't look as good in a little business outfit that's necessary as somebody heart. who's thin. My next guest proved that you don't have to be a size six to be totally hot looking as you did see. Please welcome supermodel Kate Dillon and actress Mia Tyler. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to talk to you guys and hear all the stuff you have to say. You used to be like a size six model? Yes, I was. I was. I was. And you were miserable? For three years. Um, well, I started being anorexic when I was 12. I was wow. ridiculed just mercilessly by my peers and um, mm. just decided never again. I'm going to be skinny and that's the end of it. And when I was 17, so I started a minute, model. So wait a minute. First you were like large or what? I was just a chubby old chubby kid. kid. Just a regular chubby kid who was probably about to grow like six inches, you know, <laughs> and would have just evened out. But I became known as overweight Kate to my very considerate and caring friends right. and um so all just, that like got under your skin and you just just said I, I don't want to be made fun of anymore right. so it wasn't a matter of being beautiful or whatever it was just like I don't want to be made fun of anymore you so know? you started to like obsessively diet I ate less in one day than most people eat in a meal definitely and obsessively working out and um and I I had a eight year stint with anorexia. And towards the end of that is when I started to model as a skinny model, and I did that for three years. Now, a lot of those girls really have severe, I mean, 
I don't know. I would, I would say that I think that they're probably just thin women that with a little bit of work end up being really skinny. Right. Because I just know that with that lifestyle and all the traveling and the right. con, you just can't be anorexic or bulimic for long. Right. You know? Right. I mean, there probably are a lot of girls that are trying to model, but the really successful ones, I'd bank on them being eaters. <laughs> <laughs> and so what happened after that? Um, I quit after three years and moved home to San Diego and just did really normal things. I served coffee and worked in a bookstore and just thought, I have to find this little place in me that still likes me and find out who I am because I've been for the last eight years. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, I spent the last eight years trying to be something that I couldn't be and trying to fit into um, a pair of shoes that just didn't fit. Yeah. So um, I thought, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go find Kate and come back and whatever I find myself to be is that's going to just have to be okay. And how about you? Oh, you, are, you are beautiful. You look so much like, you know, you look so much like your sister. Oh, yeah, we've got strong genes. Yeah. <laughs> Very strong genes. Um, I was actually a thin kid. Um, I think my, my parents divorced when I was about 11. And my mom started eating, so I started eating. Oh. And we both plumped up, and then um, it just kind of went from there. I always maintained, but I was still a chubby kid. And uh, Did you get sent away to fat camp? Yeah, I did. I got sent away to fat camp. And How I, old were you then? Oh, 12? Wow. 12, no, I was 13. Yeah, I was 13. And I got there. And, Tell uh, us about the horrors of fat camp. Oh, it was camp. horrible. I was like 100 and. <laughs> 50 pounds and I was 5'2 or some, something like that and um, it was horrible. It was like a regular school day but with sports and so mm -hmm. you, you go and you play baseball and aerobics and do all that stuff and then food, I mean they fed you nothing. It was like a pita and like a scoop of tuna <laughs> fish and half of a canned peach and a canned peach is like yeah, I, mean, it's, it's I sent I sent two of my daughters to fat camp. Yeah. When, and they, that's where <laughs> they learned to smoke and drink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true. I, I learned about anorexia. Like all the supermodels I've ever met, they all smoke. Yeah. They smoke like fiends. I learned yeah. that in Catholic school. <laughs> <laughs> I find that I, I learned about anorexia from a television show. I don't know if anybody remembers it was Meredith Baxter Burney. Oh yeah, about, I saw that one. about the, the bulimia. Right. And there was a girl that she met in her hospital who was anorexic. And I looked at her and I went, "Well, she's cute. <laughs> I want to be like her." Because you know, and you the know? one thing about eating disorders is they are. I think they're really catchy. They just. Oh, yeah catch on like you know well it's wildfire. amazing our, our culture rewards people for losing weight i well, mean if you lose weight disorders. suddenly you've done you've like you should have the nobel peace prize or right. something like that's just the highest this thing any woman can yeah attain. like wow that's so great big deal you had got to cook that makes you low fat food and you work out all the time what kind of why is that an achievement i don't know we're going to talk about it more in the show but um uh what about like the way that you know how is it with men how is it with guys Oh, I love men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about that all day. Um, I don't have a problem with guys because I have big boobs. And guys, <laughs> guys generally like big breasts. So no matter, no matter where I go, there's always somebody talking to me and looking at my chest. Yeah. It just happened last week. Some guy came up to me and just stared at my chest. And the whole time, I was just like, he wouldn't look in my eyes. So I get, you know, guys talk to me all the time. Always. Because Just, you're beautiful. Well, yeah, hopefully so that's you. what they're thinking. Thank you. I always thought it was weird because I, I went up and down the scale like hundreds of pounds of difference, like about 120, blah, blah, blah. Right. And I always was concerned with um, how it was going to be different with men. But nobody, and everybody, I mean, we can talk about that a little bit. We've heard stuff about it. But nobody ever said what, what it was with women. And that was the thing that was so shocking to me. Um, the difference in weight, the, way, the difference in the way women treat you, right? I think Horrible. women are the ones, I, I find that men are the ones that are like, what? Right. Yeah. What's the, what's what's the, what the right difference? There's no difference. I know guys, I gained 50 pounds and they were like, well, you look good to me. <laughs> you know, and, and the women were the ones that were like, what's wrong? 
Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, you, you know, and you're yeah. like, I'm better than That's ever. That's what first I found all, too, you know? because it was like, well, when and also like when you're larger, because I mean I was, you know, probably 70 pounds larger. They'd be like, oh, well, you're either a victim, and then you're a victim. Yeah. And then when you're under 170 or whatever, then you're rival. Yeah. Right. It's, it's right. so intense with yeah. women. I, we really it's have to talk so about intense. that. It's so intense, yeah. Um, thank you. Stay here. We're going to go to commercial, and then we're coming back with Terry Poulton. Stay here. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry. Hi, honey. Look at this collection of Color Institute cosmetics. They're beautiful. Uh-huh. You don't understand. There's tons of great cosmetics here for only $20. One lipstick can cost that much. Uh-huh. Eyeshadow, lipstick, nail polish, mascara. Uh-huh. Eye pencil, powder, lip liner, blush brushes. $20. The Color Institute cosmetic collection from Marquins International at fine department stores everywhere. Warm shades, cool shades, uh -huh. compact. Uh -huh. $20. Uh-huh. Who cares whether a pregnant woman learns about nutrition? Who cares if a new mom gets help with breastfeeding? And who cares if moms and dads learn basic parenting skills? We do. We're WIC. And we've helped millions of parents get their children off to a healthy start by offering food and free classes on nutrition, breastfeeding, and basic parenting. So if you're pregnant or have a child under five, call WIC toll free at 1-888-WIC-WORKS. WIC. We care. Christmas memories, the special moments, the excitement, the tradition. For over 60 years, the Radio City Christmas Spectacular, starring the world-famous Rockettes, has been part of Christmas for millions of Americans. And now, for the first time ever, America's grandest holiday tradition is coming to Universal Amphitheater. Come share the wonder and the magic of the holiday season. Come see the Radio City Christmas Spectacular. Coming to Universal Amphitheater December 9th through the 29th. You know you want satellite television from DirecTV and USSB. But can you get it the way you want it? Sure. Just call GTE Satellite Entertainment. You can get tons of sports and entertainment. You can buy your dish or just lease it. Install it yourself or have GTE do it for you. All with one call to GTE Satellite Entertainment. Because if you can't get satellite TV the way you want it, maybe you shouldn't get it at all. Call now for a free installation kit or $99 professional installation. There's more to Langer's Juice than great tasting fruit. We put over 40 years experience in every bottle and a commitment to make every batch the best it can be. And now, with every bottle of Langer's Cold Buster 100, there's even more. It's not only 100% juice. We've added echinacea and zinc, as well as vitamins A and C. Is that all you got? Maybe we should cut Grandma's tasting to once a week. Yeah. Langer's, it's in the juice. Have you heard what critics are saying about the Roseanne show? Time Magazine says Roseanne can be appealingly authentic. Hello! The New York Times writes, surprisingly smart and winning. A mix of sharp topical conversation, occasional comedy sketches, and social work without sentimentality. All right! Entertainment Weekly says Roseanne remains endlessly fascinating. It's fun to watch her. See what all the buzz is about on the Roseanne show. body for what it is and not try to make it into something that it's not. My next guest, Terry Poulton, is the author of No Fat Chicks. And in this book, you talk about your struggle to lose 65 pounds in six months for a magazine article and uncovering what she calls the ugly truth behind the diet industry. It's so about time to hear this. Please welcome Terry Poulton. I have a sunflower. I wanted to give Rosanna sunflower because for fat women like me, you're like the sun. You give light and you give warmth. Is this right? Very sweet. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's very sweet. That's pretty. I'll stick it in my drinking cup. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it there. Thank you very much. Well, tell us about 
Oh, well, you know, I, I grew up um, thinking and believing what almost all women and girls in this society believe, and that is a very dangerous fairy tale. It is that if you're thin, you will live happily ever after, and if you're fat, what? You're like Cinderella's evil stepsisters. You're right. ugly, lazy, stupid, right. mean. Right. And I got that. I started, I got fat when I was a little girl of nine, and just, you know, put it on, put it on. And uh, I quickly got the idea that I was a leper, I was not a full human being, and I lived out, it out like that. And so, as the time went on, I went, I, like you said, I, I lost and gained hundreds of pounds, but I also was on the liquid protein diet. You know what that's made of? What? Cattle hooves. Cattle hooves? Yeah, cattle hooves ground up into a powder. I did that in water Man. for five months. I went on that one too. Did you? Is this yeah. awful? Is this yeah, awful? Yeah, it was terrible. And of course, and you know what was really awful is like into the second month of it, I was only losing two pounds a week. Mm -hmm. sure? So I guess you get what immune to cattle hooves too. I guess that must be it. It's not not the answer. Uh, I had the injections. You want to know what's in I it? I had the injections. Do you know what's in it? Should we tell them? I know it's urine from a pregnant horse. Right. Right. When I was you guys' age, when I was <laughs> 17, check this out. I had to go to this doctor. Um, my mom took me to a weight doctor because, um, you know, I was a fat girl, and it's a right away you have to be rushed somewhere. Mm -hmm. And he was blind, <laughs> and how he told I was overweight was by feeling my body, and then giving me injections of urine from a uh, pregnant horse. Did he, well, how was his aim? He, he got he got that? around, you know, he got around there. Yes. Yeah. Right. Mm. Well, I also had my stomach stapled. That didn't, you know, did this work? I don't think so. And the whole thing, and then. What the dramatic part of the story was that I was living in Canada then, and uh, a magazine that I wrote for as a freelance writer came along and they said sort of, oh, you're fat, would you like to go on a diet for six months and write about it, and have your photograph taken every month as you go down, and have that holy grail be on the cover at the end. I said, yes, whoop de doo I've done this forever on my own, now's the time to do it. And, and you did, in fact, lose I, that weight. I did, I did. And then, mm -hmm. like you were saying in your, that uh, women in Canada had your picture on their fridge That's like it. you were the, their That's idol. That's it. They wrote me letters and I would cry to read them because they were all saying, I've been so miserable, I never thought I could be happy, you're leading me to happiness. And of course, I, only afterwards did I realize that it, well, I was leading them down the wrong path. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. And I had given my consent. I said, we're all right. inferior until we look the way they say we have to look. Right. So when I was on the cover, it was not an exciting experience at all. It was, I, I immediately got the phoniness of it because people who wouldn't give me the time of day, all of a sudden, I'm beautiful, I'm wonderful, and more important than that, I'm human. I wasn't yesterday, but today I'm human. Well, you know, you said the way they want you to look, we really want to get into it because yes. nobody ever named, yes. who are they? Yes. Let's talk about who they are. Okay, let's do that. Um, we're going to have to take a commercial all right, too, but let's I'm talk ready. about it for a minute and we'll come back. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll come back and talk about it. <laughs> In the beginning, Nick fell for Elizabeth, but now he's fallen for Meredith. No way. So Hallie and Annie are doing everything they can. They're recreating the night we met. To make Nick and Elizabeth fall in love again. Own Disney's The Parent Trap, rated PG, coming to video Tuesday, December 8th. What's the real fun of cookie making? Decorating. So leap to the fun part faster with Pillsbury. Roll it out, cut it out, then have some holiday fun with Pillsbury Sugar Cookie Dough, the fast way to a big finish. He's got a big hard luck brain. He tells time. It's 8 o'clock. Microsoft introduces Actimate's interactive Arthur and DW. Girls rule. She's really smart. I'm learning to read. <laughs> you watch videos together. Is it my turn for the remote? <laughs> <laughs> He's really good at the computer. You're good at this. Microsoft Actimates. They interact with your television, your PC, and your child. And now they're at a great low price. Way to go. Is there a rivalry brewing on Allie McBeal? Find out from Callista Blockhart. And meet Rosie's lucky bowling team, Next Rosie. Today at 3, followed by the Channel 4 News at 4. Welcome to the future of drafting. Wow, I bet the guys that run this stuff spent years in school. No, you might be surprised. So what are the chances of me getting to work here? Well, first of all, you gotta love to draw. And second? And second, you gotta call ITT Tech. Call ITT Technical Institute at 1-800-942-0088 for an informative brochure. 1-800-942-0088.
when he took apart my drill just to see how I worked. He made me mad. When he built his first radio to contact life on other planets, he made me laugh. When he picked electronics as a career, he made me think. And when he graduated from ITT Tech, he made me proud. For an informative brochure, call ITT Tech at 1-800-942-0088. That's 1-800-942-0088. Seriously injured? You've got to find the right lawyer. Go for the name your family has trusted for over 25 years. Jacoby and Myers, 1-800-546-4LAW. Norm's Perfect Lunch, soup of the day, and a crisp green salad, and your choice of half a sandwich, only three forty nine dollars weekdays at all Norm's restaurants. A local family's dog is a hero. Good morning, I'm Kent Shocknick. On the Channel 4 News at 11 a.m., we are live in Anaheim, where a family is safe because of the life-saving actions of their pet. Also, Beanie Babies on your holiday shopping list will show you how to avoid the fakes. The Channel 4 News at 11 a.m. Hey, if you're in the L.A. area and want to see my show, call 1-800-485-6885. You know, you go to a doctor and they want to put you on a diet. They don't really want to listen to what's going on with you, you know, and you don't need to go to a diet, you know. What you have is an upper respiratory infection, you know, or you go in because you cut your toe and you go to the emergency room and the first thing they want to do is take a blood test to see if you're diabetic. They don't, they like ignore the fact that you're bleeding like mad out of your toe. <laughs> Well, take it away, Terry. I want to hear what you have to say. Let's talk about them, they. Okay, let's talk about they. And can I say one thing really quickly? You yeah. were talking before about how women and why women are so tough on each other. I hate, like you, I hate to ever hear anything negative of one woman to another. It's because we've been divided and conquered. We're so desperate for any of the rewards of life that we will sort of claw our way. So let's remember that. It's not because women are mean. They are a $50 billion and counting industry that is selling us all kinds of junk that doesn't, guess what, work. 95% right. failure rate. If the cars didn't work like that or the computers, right. we would know there was something wrong. But no, there used to be um, on that well, liquid protein. Well, plus they build in that it's your fault if it doesn't That's work. That's what I was going to say. There used to be a slogan written right on the liquid protein, the program cannot fail, only you can fail. And we bought it like dopes. Right. But no, it's not that at all. And, uh, and people talk about, are you telling me, Terry, that it's the ads that are that? Yeah, the ads, but it's what surrounds the ads, especially in women's magazines. The message is always the same. It's always the same. It's unrelenting. You will be happy if you look like this. And, of course, the myth, I know you have an anthropologist coming on, but I could quickly say that what we need to know is that nature has decided only 5% of women can be as thin as your Twiggy or your Kate Moss. This is right, isn't it? But the, the secret of making $50 billion was to con 95% of women into thinking that they could if they bought the right product. It's impossible, but as long as we keep spending, they'll One be happy. One of the things that got me out of the skinny world of modeling was that I remember looking at how hard I, w I was breaking my back to fit an ideal that I just thought, wow, I'm, I'm encouraging women right. to try to mm -hmm. look a way that I can't even look. And I saw everybody around me. Well, I, mean, I think the sad thing is that I don't know if it so much encourages women, because once you get to be 35, honey, you know, you're over it. <laughs> well, it's, it's girls. It's young girls. Yeah. It's, it's, it's 12 right. to 20. It's right. in well, the prime of their lives. Right. Yeah. And, and we have up to 11 million very young women, mostly with eating disorders. 11 million? Where's the ribbon for them, you know? Where's the understanding? It's, it's an awful, awful thing it does kill. Created. It does kill. I want to talk about what 1,200 damn calories a day <laughs> looks like. Because this, you know how you always have to go on a 1,200 calorie a day diet? Here's what it is. Are those warm? <laughs> Are those warm? <laughs> 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 That's 1,200 calories a day. That is 1,200 calories a day. That's it. So what do you do? Divide it up in three and get four mm -hmm. French fries for each? <laughs> right, right. Makes me so right. mad. No, it doesn't make, it doesn't make because, any sense. Because, no, you want to be like everybody else and go to McDonald's. Well, sure, and this is like a snack or, or lunch at best. But you see, we have to understand, uh, a lot of people think that, that uh, Americans are getting fatter and fatter. <laughs> I 
I just wanted to get this in. A lot of people say that Americans are getting fatter and fatter, which we are, because we're like lazy slobs. No, we kind of evolved that way. Not that long ago, we needed to move our bodies in the course of an ordinary day. We were farmers. Women, uh, housewives didn't have all the labor-saving devices. So we ate so much and we expended so much in calories and it kind of worked out. Now we've evolved in another way. So it doesn't do us any good to say we're, slow, we're hopeless slobs. You know, we have to start looking for positive solutions because weight control is important for health, right. but none of this, it's not about well, health. Well, maybe that's we need to eat a different way instead of like, you know, 400 yeah. grams of fat. Well, that's, well, that's it. You know? We need more role models. We do need I think food we role definitely models. Yeah, food. I mean, we you know we just did this ad campaign, V Girls, part of Lane Bryant, and um, yeah. what we're trying to be are role models to wow. girls that are you know our age and our size that don't feel comfortable with themselves, and hopefully they can look at us and, and see us in these clothes, and see that we're comfortable. I mean, I'm a big girl. And Oops. you guys are beautiful, and you look and yeah, you have to be yourself. Yeah. You're gorgeous. I think she's right though. I mean, I think it's really really important that that the full figured market becomes more um, more focused in the in the sort of cultural yeah, uh, right. community, the pop culture community. Because well, the let's more talk about culture it, for a minute. Let's talk about how it used to be before Twiggy. Because mm -hmm. this is like a line of demarcation that you talk about. Mm -hmm. There's like pre-Twiggy, BT, and AT. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> what did women look like before Twiggy? We got pictures. Let's the, check it out. Right. We had, I know we had beautiful women. That's oh, Jane Mansfield. Just can't see it from here. Let's okay. see the Marilyn Monroe one. I heard Marilyn was a size 12. At she was a size 16. 16. She yeah. was between, yeah. She, 12 and 16. She, yeah. Yeah. This, she was a V girl Look, from Lane Bryant. She was a V girl. <laughs> <laughs> that's, sure, that's Marilyn. Yeah. There was Marilyn, there was Sophia Loren, uh, there was Jane Russell. But what I want to say is that at the same time, though, there was also, we also thought Audrey Hepburn. And right. Catherine Hepburn were beautiful, and that's what's important because it isn't like one size yeah, of body. Yeah. Both, we come right. in all kinds of sizes, that's right. right? But then what happened? But now this is what I think that happened in 1967. A 17-year-old English model named Twiggy came on the scene in the United States. She was 91 pounds, only 91 pounds, and a five-seven body. She was called Twiggy because she looked so frail, and I say that the geniuses on Madison Avenue saw, in a, in, a, in a flash, they saw a formula for everlasting profits. Again, going back, only 5% of people, it's possible for them ever to look and sustain the looks of a Twiggy. Right. Con 100% into thinking, again, that right. they can look like her, and they must look like her, no matter what, their whole life, even their professional life, all their happiness depends on doing that. Given that it's impossible, they'll be rich forever. That's what happened. And so now we think there's only one way to be beautiful. And, and we, you know, Marilyn couldn't even get an audition today, could she? No. Right? But, we're, but we you know what? We're going to bring out our anthropologist right after this commercial. And we're going to talk more about it. So stay tuned. <laughs> On the next Roseanne Show, Willie Nelson shows Roseanne his home away from home. You live in this bus like sometimes you go sleep in there in your driveway. You sleep in this bus instead of your house. <laughs> and talks about his love life. Do you drive the women you are married to out of their minds? Uh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Plus, Jerry Springer practices his Oscar speech. Come on, let me in, please. Come on, please. I'll stand in the back. I'll stand in the back. Please, let me in. Hello. Welcome aboard flight 257 to Newark. With stops in the Bahamas, Jamaica, and fabulous Rio. Want more than you expect? <laughs> Sign up for a Media One Next TV premium movie package and get all of our other movie channels free for 30 days. All the best channels, the biggest stars, the hottest movies. Did you bring an extra bikini? Call 877 GO Next TV. Look magic. The Old Navy Performance Fleece Games are on. Get ready to lose. I can't lose. An Old Navy Performance Fleece. Yeah. Those pullovers get a perfect 10. I don't know what's better, winning or Old Navy's low prices. Low prices. <laughs> oh, the item of the week, Performance Fleece Pullovers for the whole family. No. Volunteers, they lift our hearts. They give us hope. They're people helping people in so many ways. 
And now, if you have arthritis, you can volunteer to help in a very special way by helping science take the next step in arthritis drug research. Doctors in our area need volunteers for a research study of an investigational arthritis drug being studied to assess whether it can avoid some of the side effects, such as ulcers, common to many arthritis medications. If you have ever been diagnosed with arthritis, and if you are taking arthritis medicine regularly, call 1-888-55-STUDY. Qualified volunteers will receive medical testing, specialized arthritis care, and medication at no cost while they're in the study. Please call and volunteer today, 1-888-55-STUDY. It's because of volunteers who participate in studies like this, science is able to advance arthritis research. Must see TV Thursday. Tonight, it's a special Just Shoot Me with Saturday Night Live's Anna Gasteyer. I'll do anything if I think it'll please someone. Yeah, well, I don't give a rat. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> the boss's babysitter. The boss's assistant. Do they know about the boss's hidden security camera? Security camera? <laughs> well, I guess not. A special Thursday Just Shoot Me. It's all following friends, Jesse and Frazier, the Emmy winner for best comedy five years in a row. NBC tonight. John Denver's classic holiday album, Rocky Mountain Christmas, now includes five bonus tracks featuring the previously unreleased White Christmas on RCA CDs and cassettes. We have more protection for tobacco smokers in the workplace than we do for people who are fat, and it's just not fair. And if you took any of the jokes that are made about fat people and replaced the word fat with black or handicapped, it wouldn't fly. Now, my next guest is going to tell us how different cultures and races within our society view fat women. Please welcome nutritional anthropologist, Dr. Nikki Tufel. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tell us what you said about uh, the World Health Organization. And um, that the World Health Organization defines starvation at a, a calorie intake of less than 1,200 calories. So we're really in a situation of asking women to embark on self-imposed starvation. What does a nutritional anthropologist do? <laughs> I've never even heard of that. It's awesome. Is that uh, a well, new actually, thing? We, no. Um, we do a variety of things. I work in cross-cultural settings, and work in the area of public health. And so, really, my focus is on food and. Um, how to keep people healthy within their cultural framework. So we, in the work that I do, we really don't focus on the weight issue. We're focused on the health issue, where if the intervention we're working on is to reduce hypertension, then we measure hypertension. We're not measuring weight. If right. the project is to reduce diabetes risk factors, we look at insulin and glucose levels. We don't look at weight. I think oftentimes in this country we um, make an analogy between weight and health, and we right. assume that if someone's overweight, that they are unhealthy. But that's like, that's a messed up it's analogy, isn't it's it? It's messed up because it's not a one-to-one -one correlation. We do know There's that... There's absolutely no scientific data to base... No, we know that people who are greatly overweight or higher risk for certain things like diabetes, for, like hypertension. But it do, it's not a one-to-one -one correlation. It's not if you see a person that is above what's recommended, they definitely have one of these conditions. So the issue is to stop using weight as the proxy for health and right. to really monitor whatever your health issue is. Can you tell us a little bit about the cultural difference yeah. with how, how weight is viewed by different cultures in America? Right. I've worked on a couple of different projects where we've worked with African-American girls and white girls at the same time and Native American girls. And one of the issues that come across strong in these adolescent girls is that the um, African-American girls are much more satisfied with their body shape, even if they would be classified as overweight. They're much more satisfied with their body weight. Um, and the issue there is attitude. The issue is how do you carry it off? How do you, how do you work with what you've got? Right. And 
the intervention that I worked on in which we tried to get African American girls and Anglo girls together basically so the Anglo girls could hear this and they could hear that the important issue is what's inside. And so, so, so the group that's most suffering are, are Anglo girls, right? Right. <laughs> They're really the victim in this whole situation. Why is that? Do, do you have any ideas? Um, I think about because it? a lot of the media hype uses Anglo models. And so, at some level, it seems achievable to an adolescent white girl that I could, mm -hmm. if I worked hard enough, look like that girl. There are much fewer African American models, there are much fewer Native American, Asian models. So, the girls, those girls, are not looking at the magazines as much, thinking, I could do that if I worked really hard. And so I think it's just the identity with the mass media. And I think also in Native American and African American Does culture. Does that have anything to do with affluence? Uh, no. When you, no. When you do studies and you take out the economic factor, it's, it's not an issue. That, um, I think the issue is probably family and community acceptance. And that African American girls and Native American girls aren't told through their, their childhood and their adolescence that, well, you shouldn't eat so much or right. mommy's going on a diet, do you want to diet right. with me? And I think a lot more It's so Anglo much about mommy, very, isn't it? Right. It's so much. Uh, women's eating disorders are so much about a, a misconnection with mother. Do you all want to ask any questions? Um, well, one question would be that you said earlier that, that um, people who are overweight or over whatever the median, the line was drawn, which has recently been lowered. Right. Um, that um, they have tendencies towards some, but that doesn't automatically right. correlation between being like, aren't there also t things that being on that side of things that, that you have tendencies to, to not have, that there right. are things that you are actually protected from by having that? And I think the one we've heard of most recently is osteoporosis. Right. So that women that are particularly lean um, have a higher risk of osteoporosis, um, probably for two reasons, a couple of reasons. One, they probably have eliminated a lot of dairy products from their diet, believing that they're high fat. Um, a lot Is that good or bad to eliminate dairy? No, it's not a good thing. I mean, you, you're not getting yeah, that. Yeah, because I love dairy. <laughs> I mean, you need that calcium for your bones. Oh, and cool. a lot of women who are dieting completely cut out the dairy products because they believe them to be high fat, and they're not getting, the, they're, they're not even making, you know, recommended levels of calcium and, intake. And Nikki, isn't it true that the young women who are starving themselves and, uh, and throwing up as well are planting a time bomb in their bodies? Today, they'll be thin. When they're older women, they will be the stoop ones. We, right. we try to eliminate osteoporosis. This will bring it back and other health problems. Right. Um, okay, well, I think we're out of time since he's holding up a sign that says thank everyone. <laughs> so uh, I do thank you all. I, I want to do a lot more shows about this. I hope you'll all come back because it's so important that we really talk about this Absolutely. issue. Thank you very much. <laughs> up next, Rhonda Wood and the Fatimas. I'd like to show you something you're really going to like. 1010-9000. The only number you need to get directory assistance anywhere in America. It's the easy way to find a phone number. You don't need to know the area code. Who can keep track of them? Just dial 1010-9000, tell the operator whose number you want and where they live. That's it. They find you the number, even offer to dial it for you with no connection charge. That's pretty simple, huh? I thought you'd like it. 1010-9000. Directory assistance for everyone in America. Teddy Gibbs can't let a sore throat stop him. Even when it feels this raw, he toughs it out through the hacking cough, the aches, the fever. But when the job is done, he's desperate for fast, powerful Theraflu relief. With the first sip of that soothing lemony hot liquid, he feels comfort instantly. Soon his throat feels calmed, his cough quieted. Maximum strength Theraflu, now in new cherry sore throat and cough. Instant comfort, powerful relief. Hi everyone, I'm Colleen Williams, inviting you to join the Marine Corps Reserve and us in the NBC4 Toys for Tots campaign. Plus, Sixy and Snoopy will make it extra special when you drop off a new unwrapped toy worth $10 or more to any participating Union 76 station, you'll receive a coupon to get into Knott's Berry Farm at half price. Share the gift of giving and make a big difference in the life of a child. We'll see you at Knott's Berry Farm. 
Be part of the NBC4 Toys for Tots campaign at Knott's Berry Farm. Wix Furniture is having this 36-hour sale. I'm psyched. I'm pumped. I'm ready. For furniture, you won't find better prices anywhere. I only wish I had a bigger house. You can save hundreds of dollars. That's a lot of clams. For the quality, you just can't beat it. No way. No how. Come to Wix Furniture's big 36-hour sale. It starts tomorrow. Huge store-wide savings, plus incredible financing. No monthly payments and no finance charges due till January 2000 with the Wix charge. I highly recommend the bedrooms. Buy Factory Direct. The jewelry exchange in Tustin has expanded and now has the largest factory showroom in the U.S. We guarantee our jewelry to be the lowest price. Compare Tiffany's one carat invisible bands for over $5,000 with the jewelry exchange's GVS quality for $1,600. One carat pendants are $249. Two carat tennis bracelets, $349. And one carat studs, $399. We carry thousands of rings, bracelets, and pendants. We guarantee all our jewelry to appraise for at least double. The jewelry exchange in Tustin. Michael Chang for Tiger Balm. On an opponent, he uses this. On a sore muscle, he uses Tiger Balm. Tiger Balm works where it hurts. It works for me. So you don't feel this. Your dentist rubs a pain reliever on first. It's the same strength pain reliever you get in this. For dentist strength pain relief, get maximum strength and basal. With Centrum, you benefit from what science is discovering about how vitamins and minerals help maintain health and strengthen immunity. Centrum, always complete from A to Zinc. New CompuServe 4.0. Better, faster, easier. For those serious about Internet Online, get new CompuServe 4.0. Call now. They're bold, they're beautiful, and they can belly dance. Please welcome Rhonda Wood and the Fatimas. <laughs> Right hip. Okay. I'm gonna point up toward the corner. Scoot back. Left hip. Right. This is a figure eight. A figure eight. Figure eight. Woo! Woo! You got the nose. Woo! Okay. Now it's a shimmy stretch. Just back and forth. Work your knees back and forth. You look good. I'm not gonna be real, but turn. So just speed up. I have speed no up. ass. Speed up. Thank you very, thank you. very much. Thank you. Everybody, thank you. Bye bye.